In this video, I'd like to correct an earlier blog. When you look at the demand curve, you'll know that it is elastic at high prices and inelastic at low prices. Assuming that the demand curve is the marginal product for labor, a high wage then would be relatively elastic and a low wage would be inelastic. A quick review of your micro, you'll remember that when a good is inelastic, lowering the price increases the total revenue. In this um, part of the video, I want to correct what I did in a prior video. I showed that when you have unskilled labor, when technology is introduced, employers will demand more skilled labor and not demand as much unskilled labor. And what I suggested would happen would be that the unskilled labor would be crowded into unskilled occupations and thus the wage rate would lower, for example, from eight to four. I had this thought this morning that this would be on the inelastic portion of the curve and what might happen is total income would increase. Here, and I know these aren't real numbers, but eight times two is 16. If the unskilled labor are pushed uh, into finding other unskilled jobs, even though their wage rate decreases to four, their total income would be 24, which would suggest that they're better off than they were before. So maybe what has happened for unskilled labor as the demand for skilled labor has increased is what I've shown on this graph there's just simply been a decrease in the demand for unskilled labor. And that would lower their income, which is consistent with the data. My name is Mike Vladlin, and I believe that that is right. Thank you.